Day 25 of the government shutdown brought out a very small group of local people to rally together and urge the U.S. Senate to vote on a continuing resolution. Saida Abbas spoke to those protesters today at Perry Square. She joins us now with the story. Saida. Jill, the government shutdown continues with no end in sight. The people that demonstrated said they want to see change. They believe that the shutdown is affecting working class families the most. End the shutdown. That's what demonstrators were saying at Perry Square. They've represented local groups like Erie County United, Keystone Progress Erie, and people that are just concerned. I'm hoping that our senators will get the message and understand that it's time for workers to be able to be paid. Uh, it's time for policy to be updated in a way that's fair and humane. On day 25 of what is the longest ever shutdown, 800,000 federal employees are going with without pay. The demonstration started with a group of people chanting their sentiments. The people here are singing songs, holding up signs like these to move their message forward. The protest went on for an hour and a half. Contract workers whose income and business depends on federal workers are also getting hurt. Workers are being forced to work, but they're not being paid, which I think is illegal. Um, you know, we're, we're sort of their voice, I guess, up here. It's just somebody wanting their way and holding the government hostage. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has suspended all routine inspections of food processing facilities in the U.S. Afterwards, the protester, protesters visited the offices of Senator Pat Toomey and Bob Casey for them to urge Senate Majority Leader McConnell to bring the shutdown to an end with his vote. Back to you, Jill. Okay, Saida, thank you.